Irotha's Finery is easily one of my favorite normal difficulty sets for two reasons. One, it's just a really good set with solid resists, modifiers, stats, etc. But also because it is the only set that exists in a full overlap with other sets. Basically, you can almost never be 100% certain you got a part of Irotha's set until it's identified, since its parts share base items with Arctic, Infernal, Milabregas, and several sets with amulets. Though before we dive into those specifics, we need to hit on the set modifiers as a whole, which got a nice little addition in 2.4 with the inclusion of a 24% pierce chance, which for early range characters is not half bad considering the other modifiers we pack with this, including resist, dexterity, run walk speed, and even a bump to the four main resistance caps, meaning your limit on resist become 85% with this rather than the standard 75%. And while the set alone won't make you reach these caps, they get you close enough that even incidental gear will generally push you to that point, at least in normal. On the individual pieces, we have Irotha's Coil, the Crown, and the Overlap with Milabregas. This nice piece of headgear comes with two very important resists, Lightning and Fire, both at 30%, which in and of itself makes this a really good find, and a really good tool for pretty much any character going through normal, and even a really nice choice for a number of builds in Nightmare as well. On top of that, it packs a plus defense modifier for wearing two parts of Irotha's, which keeps the defense in check as you progress forward, but tends to be less important than the helmet's full bonus bonus. On the amulet, we have our poison resist and poison length reduction, which are nice, but not as impressive as the helmet, though when paired up with any other individual part of the set, it makes up way more than that with a 15% resist all, which is a lot better. Though like every other part of the set, this is competing with other set amulets that drop, so it makes it a bit more difficult to find that, and it has to compete in slot with several other good options, though for level 15, it definitely holds its own. On Irotha's Cord, we have probably the least impressive part of the set, unfortunately but it's still not bad with plus minimum damage, a pinch of defense, and when paired with something else, it will give you a nice plus 10 to dexterity on top of the normal set bonuses, which can make it pretty good enough to consider, though it is often the first part replaced out of the set for me. If you do decide to stick with it, a cheap upgrade to exceptional will give you the slots you're missing. Just be sure you have your strength up high enough for the exceptional version. And in the glove slot, we have Irotha's Cuff, our cold focus gloves with 30% cold resist and half freeze duration, which makes it round out our resist fairly nice. So we end up with 65% across the board if we have every part of the set equipped. This is helped by its two part bonus for increased attack speed and a respectable 20% at that, which makes it on par with most attack speed gloves outside the extreme choices. Now, while this set will not likely last you all the way into hell, the usual upgrade to the belt is a thing you can do, though with the belt being the weakest part of the set, it's kind of an internal debate as to whether you should do that. And since none of the parts scale exceptionally well with upgrading, I would usually just skip over them unless you absolutely must squeeze out every drop of defense. Just realize it may not be worth the rune cost for you. As far as my overall opinion of the set, despite being a pain in the butt to find thanks to the overlap with other sets, it's still one that I like to keep in my stash for low level projects just because it's just so well rounded. And with the addition of the piercing effect, it's just more frosting on the cake and just helps it hold its own as one of my favorite low level sets in the game. So do you wish they did more to help these low level sets kind of scale into hell difficulty or do you prefer having the more tiered approach like we have now with more obvious starter sets and more obvious late game sets? Mention it down below and a special thanks to the channel members and patrons that make this possible.